Hi everyone, this is Heather from WeddingsByHeather.com and WeddingsByHeather.tv. And hey, if you need help with your workflow or file organization, please check out my free video series on my website. The link is in the down bar below. Okay, so this week's Q&A is a question that I get asked from photographers all the time, and it's whether or not they need a tablet. Specifically, I use a Wacom tablet. And my response to that is, well, do you need air to breathe? Because that's how much I love my tablet. I have the Intuos 4 Medium, and what I'm doing is creating a video series to help walk you through um, some different functionality of the tablet and why you might want it. Okay, in this first video, I'm just gonna give you an introduction of why I use it, and in the next videos, we'll talk about some application. Okay, so when I first started in photography, and you know, you're using a mouse, and your editing can get pretty intense, and you're in front of the computer for long periods of time, and you're like, with the mouse, right? Your hand gets all claw-like, and you get carpal tunnel. I ended up with um, pain in my wrist and then a numb hand that went all the way up my arm. I have friends that have really had problems. So, I mean, if you love having surgery, then by all means, continue to use the mouse. <laughs> but for me, which that now feels like a brick to me, I uh, got my first tablet, this is years ago, so it was, wasn't this one, it was the one previous, and I don't know how I lived without it. Using the stylus on the tablet just felt so much more natural to me and easier, and the brush strokes were nicer, and I felt like it improved my retouching. So I love it. Okay, why did I get the Intuos 4? This is around $350, which I realize is not inexpensive but I like these function keys on the side. All right, let me, let me back up for a second. First of all, the way that Intuos works, the way any of these tablets work, is this area is mapped to your monitor. So if you put your stylus or the mouse that comes with it in this corner, then you're gonna be on this corner of your monitor. And then over here on the far right, I have both of my monitors mapped to this one tablet. I have a 24 inch wide and a 17 inch turned portrait. So I can use this on both monitors. And the size, okay, so what happens is the bigger the tablet, the, the farther the movements are because it's mapped exactly to the monitor. So some people are like, well, I need a bigger tablet because I have a bigger monitor. And I would say, mm, not necessarily so. In fact, I would have preferred to have the small Intuos because then it makes your hand movements shorter, closer together, because it doesn't has, have as much surface area to map. The only reason I bought the medium over the small was because of these programmable keys. They weren't on the small at the time and that was a deal breaker for me because I love these keys. I love to geek everything out. I program these and I set them for different applications. So the, the buttons that I have programmed for Photoshop are different from the ones I have in Lightroom and I'm going to share those in the next few videos. But it's just really nice to um, like put the functions that I use all the time so they're right there and they're handy. You can also program the stylus, which is really neat. So both of these buttons are programmable, hallelujah. And even this, so like it's like the erase button you can, pro oh, there goes my bling on my, <laughs> on my stylus. So this is one of those, have you ever seen those? They're really pretty, right? They go on your heels to make them fancy. My, um, one of my brides was wearing them and I said I loved them, and so she sent me some, and I thought that was really nice, but rather than put them on my heels, I put them on my stylus because I wanted to remind myself of why I do this, because I, I want to serve my clients, and I love them, so that's just fun. Um, okay, so I'm, Weddings by Heather has always been about profit forward, and even though I'm a real gadget person, I can understand why you would not want to invest $350 in something that you're not sure you're gonna like, so good news, a few years ago, Wacom introduced the bamboo line. And so I want to say the least expensive tablet is $50, $50. So you buy it, you try it out because some people have a hard time getting used to it. Um, but you have to just kind of stick with it and then it will become more natural. But for $50, you try it out, you see if you like it and maybe that's enough. Maybe you don't want to program everything. And then if you do love it, maybe you can upgrade later to a, a bigger model. But in the next several videos, I don't know how many it's going to take. I'm going to walk you through some of the ways that I use this tablet in order to be more productive. I'll see you then. Thanks.